Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the sum of square numbers problem from Lead Code and the number for this is 633. So in the given problem, we are given with a non-negative non integer c and we have to decide whether two integers a and b uh, are possible such that a square plus b square is equal to c. So basically, the problem requires us to, uh, to verify if the number c can be expressed as a sum of two squares or not. So for this, we have a mathematical for theorem by Fermat that states that a number can be represented as a sum of two squares if and only if all the prime factors of the form 4k plus 3 have even powers in their prime factorization. And we can use this theorem to design an efficient theorem. So all the prime factors which are in the form 4k plus 3 should have even powers. Now, Let's see for the example one. So c equal to five. So for this, it is one into one plus two into two, which is possible. And for this, it is not possible because here you can see that there is no factor in the form of four k plus three. So okay, so four k plus three raised to the power zero. So this is possible but in this case it is not now let's see for a bigger example because this is a smaller example like small value so let's see for c equal to 45 so for c equal to 45 uh, what our approach will be first of all we'll start with iterating over all the possible divisors from i equal to 2 to under root of 45 okay we'll start from that and then for each i we'll check how many times it divide how many times it is the factor it is in the power of that number and then we will check if it is in the form 4k plus 3 and it is uh, odd then we will return false otherwise we will continue the loop so let's see so we have to run a loop from 2 till root 45 so for 2 we check is it divisible no it is not divisible now for 3 we check so it divides the number becomes 15 and 3 is a factor so 3 raised to the power 1 now is 15 still divisible yes 15 is still divisible so the exponential count becomes 2 and 3 is a factor now the new number becomes 5 is 5 still divisible divisible no it is not so 3 is no longer a factor so 3 raised to the power 2 uh, into 5 is actual factorization of this number so uh, 3 is actually in the form 4k plus 3 but it it has an even power so since it has an even power we do not return false and we continue the loop now we have to check for the remaining number which is 5 now remaining number is 5 if 5 mod 4 not equal to 3 so yes it passes the final statement and we can return true so let's talk about the let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so the first step was to iterate from 2 till uh, we have to iterate till the square root so divisor into divisor is less than or equal to c so this will turn till the square root of c now if c mod divisor equal equal to 0 that means it it is a factor of the number int exponential let's write it exponent count equal to 0 here and uh, okay and then while c mod divisor equal equal to 0 we'll do the exponent count plus plus 
and uh, C will be divided by the divisor itself. So it will be C divided by the divisor. Okay, now we have to check the final condition, the last remaining number. So if the divisor mod 4 returns a value equal to 3, that is, it is in the form 4k plus 3 and exponential exponent count mod 2 not equal to 0 that means it has a odd number of exponential count then in what, that case what we will do we will return a false otherwise we can simply go and return c mod 4 not equal to 3 so actually this was for checking the exponential count of the current divisor and this was for the final like we have seen the remaining 5 so we check for the last remaining number here so let's try to run this Okay, accepted for the sample test cases now let's run for the hidden test cases as well so okay the hidden test cases are passed as well with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity now let's talk about the complexities as well so the time complexity for this solution is under root of c that is square root of c because we are using this loop and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra space so i hope you understood the logic how to solve the problem in the interview please do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel you can also see the c++ python in the javascript solution by going into the solutions panel and check this solution this is my solution where you can find the intuition the approach the complexity step by step explanation java code c++ code python code javascript code and yes remember to upload me so thank you for watching the video have a nice day